Hi, John Van Guy. Uh, putting the head back on as a Talbot Express, just a few tips. Uh, previously, I had to take the head off again because one of the studs uh, had actually penetrated the water jacket on the main engine, so there was water pouring out of one of the studs. Um, very sad, but uh, taking it off and have helicoiled, drilled out and helicoiled, get a helicoil kit. Uh, advisable, brilliant to use, and great, great bit of kit. Anyway, that was done. So, putting the head back on, um, just a few ch tips I thought I'd mention while well, that I found was useful, and you should do. Before I've mentioned this, you'll need to once you've got your gasket in to actually hold a gasket in place. You need some sort of mounting uh, or guide. I've used these threaded bars, which are M8, a threaded bar which I cut in half, will go into where the actual uh, head bolts actually go. So I've used one on either side. Now it's important that you put some sort of protector on the top. I found some of these little, going through my uh, spurs boxes, I found a few little uh, plastic uh, covers, if you like, which uh, are jammed on and then uh, smoothed down on the grinder. Um, so at least that gives some protection when you're actually lowering, the, lowering your head onto the engine block. Very easy to scratch it, so be careful there. I suppose you could take them or something else, but I found the plastic insert bas bashed on work quite well. Make sure they're well and truly uh, on, otherwise one might come off and <laughs> you end up with it in the engine itself. Right, okay, so the stage we've got is we've got the uh, rocker assembly back on. Don't forget to put your push rods in first. Also, of course, and you've seen this loads of times, uh, line them all up properly as you take them out. I did something like this. this these were all for the head bolts. These are all for the push rods, all numbered, so they go back in the same place. So, done all that. Um, so push rods, then the assembly black on, uh, and then go through this very elaborate tightening procedure, uh, which you'll see elsewhere. It is elaborate, but you need to follow it. Uh, and the important thing is how you tighten and how you loosen. You basically you're starting from here. When you're tightening, you're starting here and then working in uh, a sort of um, wave fashion, circular fashion, around to the outside and finished up at number 10. And when you're undoing, you go in the opposite direction. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, back again. So, that's important actually, otherwise you could end up warping, because you've put a hell of a lot of torque onto this once you've actually done it. Um, okay, so now it's a case of turning the crankshaft so you can actually do the tappets on the engine. Now it's not so difficult, but what you've got to do, there's a few procedures. You need the Russick manual, presumably you've got that already, and a good pair of feeler gauges. They suggest for the exhaust should be not, Point, uh, 0.25 mil uh, and for the inlet the tap it would be 0.1 mil so those two will do um, what well, just put them out separately like that and tighten a little knurl nut there it holds them out it saves you faffing about right so you follow this procedure so based, what you do is when, this means, um, this is in the Rustic Manual, when the exhaust is, uh, valve is open on number one, um, that means this is pushed down on number one. You should go to number three, induction, and number four, exhaust, and you can actually do the tappet measurements on those. So you slide your tappets underneath. Uh, in, uh, just above the valve there, uh, and then you work your way, turning the engine clockwise. So pushing down on your, uh, you know, pull it. Which way is it? Pushing down. That's right. Pushing down on your ratchet, and your ratchet should be able to turn the, turn the engine clockwise, and work your way through 
all these. Um, loosening the um, these loosening these nuts and uh, actually turning on the screw. So uh, once you've actually done that, um, you're ready to go. Anything else I can think of that I've forgotten. Uh, but again, follow that procedure and you won't go far wrong. Well, I hope that helps a bit, somewhat. Oh yeah, but one thing I did remember and one thing I found useful, when you're actually turning the engine, you want, you, you're trying to get your piston up top dead center. Uh, so that's when the, you'll, you'll have your valve fully open for the exhaust. Now I found that you can stick a, a stick a screwdriver or something in there and that will go up. And I found that if you can line up top dead sensor, if you, if you can line up, put a mark on there and then use a bit of tape, uh, once that comes up to this level, uh, you can actually see so you've got another measurement to tell you when you've actually got top dead sensor. Then you can do your measurements. Just a little tip, it's quite useful. Okay, I hope that helps.